Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my new backpacking camping stove from the US Stove Company. This is the 14 inch Caribou. And uh, I've got everything set on the table that it comes with basically. I'm gonna go through that stuff as well as I'm gonna go through the dimensions, the specs of the stove. This is gonna be a review. And uh, so yeah, I've got stuff, uh, everything it comes with basically out on the table right now. So I'm gonna go through that stuff really quick. And then we'll jump in and uh, take a look at the stove more closely. All right, so you're gonna have to put up with a little bit of noise. Just it's raining right now and stuff. But uh, I guess yeah, we'll start off with the stove pipe. This comes with six feet of chimney, and the top piece has a spark arrestor. As you can see right here, this is a spark arrestor. I'll focus the camera in on there for you. This is the spark arrestor. It comes with very nice. All that you do is you twist that up, and then you just tighten this little screw. Let me show you there. There's a little notch that flips into, so you just twist it, flips into the notch, and you can just kind of hand tighten it. That's not really going anywhere. And uh, yeah, it's a good spark arrestor. Works good. I have burned this stove before, and uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way it burns. Obviously, I'm new to uh, hot tenting, basically, but I am happy with the way that the stove performs. You know, right out of the box, kind of. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically that's the the top piece, the spark arrestor. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so then we got, uh, like I said, six feet of chimney pipe, but it comes with six pieces of the, you know, six of the regular pieces, so just the smooth ones, and they just kind of clip into each other, like so, if I show you, just kind of like so, just clip into each other. It works pretty good. And then we got this, we got six of those, and then we've got the one piece with the spark arrestor. And then we've got these two pieces right here. Now these are racks that clip onto the side of the stove, which I'll show you in a minute. But they, uh, yeah, they just clip on. They're good for like, you know, keeping stuff warm, you know, food warm and stuff like that. But they do clip onto the side of the stove. I'll get into that in a minute. And as you did see, it did come with this right here, which is a handle. And you can uh, clip in a couple different attachments they give you. One of the attachments they give you is this right here. Now this is to clean out your stove pipe. And it's basically what it does is this screws right on like this. I'll show you here. Basically, it just screws right on there. Yeah, just like that. It screws right on there, and then you can uh, clean your stove pipe and stuff with that. So that's pretty nifty. I really like that. The other thing it comes with just, uh, is this right here, just to uh, a little stoker, just to stoke your fire. I don't know how much I'll actually use this, but if it, if you do need a stoker, you know, to stoke your fire, you do have one that comes with the stove. This is tightened down. It does tighten down uh, tight, so it doesn't roll around. I just, um, yeah, that's good. So uh, really happy with the two accessories that come with this. 
the two peat, the two attachments, sorry. And uh, yeah, that's basically what that's, that's those two things are for. It also comes with this damper tool. And this is basically to open and close the damper on the stove, which we'll get into in a minute, um, because it does get pretty hot. So that's what it comes with. It comes with a couple little bags. Um, we're not really gonna get into too much of those things. But yeah, it does come with a couple little carry bags. Um, for your little pieces as well as the stove. Getting to the actual stove itself, it does come with these four little legs that screw in. They're also adjustable, so you can twist them and you can adjust the height of the legs. I don't really have them adjusted properly, so it might be a little rocky. But uh, yeah, now for the front of the stove, like the door, it just opens up like this. Now this is where the damper tool would come in handy, the one that I just showed you. Um, if you have the fire running, you just use that, you clip in, and you can just open the, open the door. As well as right over here, you can use it to close the damper, close and open the damper. Now right here, here's the damper for the stove. As you can see, it's got high and low, and uh, you can't really see. You guys can't really see on the camera very well, but it does open and close and let some air in there to the firebox. But yeah, you can use the damper tool for that, or you can do it by hand if you're just getting the fire started and nothing's insanely hot. Yeah, I do like this little uh, caribou symbol right there. Little, it's it kind of etched into the metal. It's a very nice touch, and I think it looks great. So. But yeah, that's the door. It's actually raining quite a bit right now. But anyways, um, to uh, attach your stove pipe to the stove, it's just got this little jack right here where you put it in. And so you can put in all the pieces if you want. Like I said, it comes with six feet of the actual stove pipe. They just kind of slide down in there. You can twist them. It goes in a little bit easier if you want. So you, the idea is you go up all the way to the top, and then at the top you put your spark arrestor, the, one, the, piece, uh, the piece with the spark arrestor on it. I'll just show you what that looks like. So I can get into the full camera view. I'll just take this bottom piece off here. And you just put that in right there. That would go on the top, like I said. And then you would just loosen your spark thruster. I can do that. Yeah, just pull that up like this, twist it, like I showed you. And then your spark thruster, uh, you know, is all set up. So this would be at the top, like I said. Um, yeah, you'd put on your six pieces of the regular, and then you'd put this on the top, and then you would have your uh, chimney installed. It's very easy, pretty pretty simple. Um, that would obviously go through your stove jack in your tent and uh, you know for your hot tent or whatever and uh, yeah that would go in there pretty well. Um, if you are concerned about your stove uh, like your pipe blowing in the wind while you have it uh, in a hot tent what you can do and I'll show you here really quick I'll just zoom in not zoom in I'll focus in focus in on this is what you can do is you can just put a little a couple little guy it's just a little couple of little clips right there and you can just clip them onto the spark rest so if you have that out right there just like put a little ring and then tie some uh, some cordage or you know paracord or whatever down to the ground and stake it that way it won't blow around as easier but make sure your uh, the part that attached to the actual spark arrestor is metal uh, because if you actually had you know your paracord it does have a chance to burn it probably will burn so yeah uh, that's an option if you guys are concerned about this blowing around in the wind. So for the measurements of this stove, I'm going to have to pull up my phone here because I'm don't. i not going to be able to remember them all off by heart. Um, the firebox measures 13 and a half inches long, 7 and 3 quarter inches wide, 5 and 7 8 inches tall, and it included uh, the foot of chimney consists of 7 interlocking stainless steel sections which I showed you. So. Uh, you have the six regular ones, and like I said, the one firebox, which I probably, uh, and the one uh, spark arrestor piece, which I've probably said a million times. Uh, so that's the dimensions of the actual firebox itself. Um, it does weigh eight kilograms, so you're not really going to be, uh, I don't know, you probably wouldn't want to carry this an insane distance. I don't really have a problem from the little bit of distance I've carried it um, in carrying it, but if you're a smaller person, uh, maybe you don't want to carry this the full, uh, whatever you know, like a four mile hike into the woods. It would get a little bit tiring, but uh, you know, for those of you that want to have a lighter stove, I would suggest going with something like titanium. This is not a titanium stove. This is stainless steel, um, but it is very good quality, but it is uh, heavy. It does, it is eight kil kilograms. Like I said, that's not, I don't see that as gonna be being a major problem for me, but if it, if you, but if you do think that's gonna be a problem for you, you might want to look at some of the titanium stoves from Kamali. One of the cool things about this stove that I really like is all these pieces, your chimney pipe, actually fit inside of the stove. So all that you have to do is you just pop them in there. Super simple. And they go in there just 
like that. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get them all in there properly. Now with the grates that attach onto the stove here, they're very simple. They just slide in right there, and then you slide them toward those notches, which you'll see right there and there, the two end notches, and they just kind of clip and hang right there. Same with the other piece, just slides right in those, and then you just push them forward to those end notches, and they just sit very nicely like that. Now this would be useful, like I said, for maybe warming up some meals, um, or possibly even cooking if you have this high enough. I, it would definitely probably cook, cook there, but if you want more direct heat, you can put it right on top of the firebox. They do have this little um, circular kind of bump, which might be handy for, you know, positioning a pot onto, you know, boil some water or something, a little kettle of some sort. If you want to make a cup of chaga or tea or anything, coffee, what, what have you. But yeah, those uh, little pieces, they just slide in very nicely like that. I, re I do really like that. It's, it's pretty simple. And if you don't want them, you don't have to have them. I think I'll probably be using that feature for sure. But if you don't want to use that feature, uh, it wouldn't, it doesn't, they don't take up much space. What I like to do when I put this away, which I'll show you in a minute, is I just put them right there on the top and they don't take up any space at all really. So that way, if you don't want them, you don't have to use them. And if you do want them, they're right there. So now for the disassembly of the stove, you would take off your stove pipe and just put them right in here or whatever, wherever you want to put them, but they do store in here very nicely and they take up a lot less space that way. They're just right in there out of the way and they're easily accessible when you need them. So I would just put the stove right, the stove pipes right in there and uh, taking off the legs is very simple as well. Just flip the stove on the side and unscrew the legs. Next what you would do is they give you this longer pouch and that's to put your longer pieces such as your legs and your little poker deal right there. So you can just, they just slide right into the bag very nicely and these things need to be tightened down before you put them in or else they will be annoying to put in there. <laughs> you can just slide them in there like that. Boop. And then put this in. I like to put a wood down, that way it's not super blocky and in the way. This uh, little poker, uh, stoker piece just kind of slides right in there as well. And then they give you this little cinch here, and that just cinches closed like that. Very nice bags. So then this little chimney pipe cleaner, this has its own separate bag right here, and you can just put that right in to there. Goes in just like that. This isn't really something you have to carry all the time, but it's so small, you can just slip it into the bigger bag. It's pretty easy. Anyways, just cinch that down. And it looks like I forgot to put my little stoker piece in, but super easy to put into. These bags are really quick to get into. Just slip that right down there. Cinch that down, perfect. So get those right there. Now, this is the bag, this is the bigger bag. Um, there is another bigger, bigger bag. Um, which you could uh, you could use too, but I find this one works great. This one just goes, uh, the stove just goes right in this one. Um, but I guess the idea is you'd put this, uh, the, the stove in this one, and then you'd put the stove uh, and the, all the rest of the stuff in the bigger one kind of collectively. But I just like to use this because this fits, it's, you know, not that big. I guess you could probably get away with the other one in a backpack because it's just cloth and it would just crumple. But this one's just easier in my opinion um, to use. But all that you do is you just, uh, grab your bag like that. It's kind of an awkward kind of thing to do, but you can just kind of grab it like this and just slip it in the bag. Just like this. Feet need to get through first. Because feet tend to catch on the bag. You just slip that in like that. I'm on a glass table, so I'm not gonna slam stuff down. And then, like I said, these two grates just slip right in here just right on the flat part of the top of the stove right there. They just slip right in there. And then this longer uh, baggie, you can just put that off to the side in there. And then this little piece, you can just go right on top like that. Super simple and just like that. You can even make it a little tighter by pulling it on a little bit more. But yeah, super easy to cinch up. And then here's my backpack. This isn't a very big backpack. Uh, I think it's like a 40 liters, 40 liter backpack. But this stove, just fits right into the main compartment of my backpack pretty easily. A little bit of connection to get in there. But it just slides right in there. And 
zips up just like that. And there you go, fits right in there. And there you go, that's kind of my review of the Caribou 14 inch backpacking, backpacking camping stove. Like I said, you could, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't really see any problem uh, backpacking with it. It is a little heavy, but you know, I don't know, <laughs> it's exercise I guess. Um, but yeah, I just want to mention I'm not sponsored by this company at all. I, uh, I just, I enjoy the product. It's a cheaper product. Um, it's like about 190 Canadian, so not very expensive. Um, and I, I just like it. I just like the product. It seems great. If I have any problems, I will uh, try to remember to let you guys know. But I'm sure if I have any problems, I don't, I don't, I don't really see myself having problems with the stove. Um, I don't know. Everything seems to be very well built, especially for the price. Um, you know, it's, it's like I said, pretty cheap. But uh, I don't see myself having problems with the stove. Um, the company is based out of, uh, I think it's Tennessee. I'm not entirely sure if, the, if they're actually made in the U.S. It is called the U.S. Stove Company after all. But, they, you know, they might just get their products made in China and then uh, ship them out to, you know, whoever's buying them. But, uh, you know, it says U.S. Stove Company. You know, they might just be designed in the U.S. and then get, get made in China. I'm not entirely sure on that one. You guys can do your research on that, but I don't have the answers for that at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my review of it. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward so much to filming some hot tent, hot tent camping videos. Um, the colors outside are just really great right now. It's, it's getting dark in the day. I'm not gonna be able to show you too well in this video, but hopefully soon. Um, I do have my tent. It, sh it, uh, it should be here, you know, in the next few days, hopefully. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys did enjoy the video or got anything from it, um, I would really appreciate you guys hitting that like button. Helps out the video. Let's YouTube know it's a good video. So hopefully it was a good video anyways. And if you guys do feel really generous, hit that subscribe button as well. I'd appreciate it. But um, that's the stove. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you guys in the next one.